If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. At least I'm pretty sure that's how the quote goes. It's a very simple quote, but it's something that I don't think a lot of us heed. Looks like we have a bit of a long video today, so go and grab some snacks, maybe some popcorn, kick back in your chair, and enjoy the show. So I just landed in Portland, but I'm still having trouble finding where to go. So there's a bus that I could possibly catch. And if not that, then I guess I'm just gonna be waiting in the airport for the next 24 hours. I just missed the fucking bus, man. Ah. Um, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but this is the only bus that leaves from Portland to Bend. So I'm not gonna be able to leave that way today. Luckily, Chris Dunk connected me with somebody else who's also going, so they're gonna pick me up tomorrow. I also gotta find some place to eat and maybe edit a little bit, cause I don't know what else I'm gonna do. So yeah, that's uh, that's the update. That's the update. But creator camp, creator camp. All right. Yeah, I'm totally walking away and not gonna come back for the camera, cause why would I? I found a scooter. Found a scooter. Some really good news. We are going to be okay. Let me explain. Okay, so as you know, I am going to create a camp hosted by Simon Kim and Max and Chris. You know, very awesome. They've done an amazing job. I'm super excited. But the problem was that I was not able to get onto the shuttle bus before it left, which really fucking sucks. Thank God though, they got in touch with another creator who's also going to create a camp, Jackie. And so I'm about to go meet him now. I got him this like strawberry acai, which honestly, if I'm being real, I probably should get him like a coffee or something or maybe like a hot chocolate. It's fucking cold over here, all right? But yeah. Yo, what's up, man? Oh shit. This is the man right here. The guy who saved me because I missed the bus. Jackie. <laughs> this is it. This is it. This is all we got. That's for you, by the way. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, bro. After he picked me up, we went to a festival. I got a big shirt and a candle. That was pretty cool. But we had to go back to his house because tomorrow we were driving to Bend. So. It was time to pack. Good freaking morning. So, let me go and tell you what happened. <clears throat> oh my god, my voice is a little bit deep. <clears throat> it's uh, a little early. It's very early. Anyways, so, Jackie picked me up yesterday, which is very, very clutch, because as you know, the bus, I missed it, and it was gonna take a whole last 24 hours. Um, to get the next one. But today, it is currently 8.25 and we're about to leave in maybe 30 or so minutes. So we're just getting ready, get going, and we're gonna have a good time, go li do a little road trip all the way down to Bend from Portland. So I'm excited, really, really excited. So, come along. No, you don't have a choice. <laughs> God. <laughs> Much better. Banana. <laughs> <laughs>
We made it. Let's go. Oh my god. I gotta go find my room. Finally, finally made it to Creator Camp. It's been a couple days. If I'm being honest, I didn't really think that, uh, you know, didn't think it would happen this way. I'm glad it did though. I'm excited to meet some more people. I'm gonna go to my room and just chill out. So, anyways, more content on the way. Yeah, should be fun. Talk to y'all later. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. Hey, thank you guys for coming to the first ever base camp. This is something we have been planning all summer long. And seriously, none of this would have been possible without the support of each and one of you guys. This, this is Vincy's first time in the U.S. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Yeah. Let's go! America! Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the kilometer! Thank you all, guys. We really appreciate it. And we're looking forward to a fantastic, fantastic week together. After that, I went and I ate my food and conversed with the other creators at the camp and got to know them a little bit better. Though I did decide to go to bed a little bit early because tomorrow we're going to be going to the caves. So I want to get some rest. See you tomorrow. Or I guess in like a second because this is a video. All right. Out here. Going hiking with Brian. Let's go. Hike, hike, hike. We're going to go find some caves, hopefully, and go and explore the... Sacrifice, 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 yeah, okay. <laughs> so, right down there. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, you got it. All right, I got it. I'm gonna go right behind you. I let Katie Mae go in front of me because, if I'm being honest, if something happens, I'm getting the fuck out of there. I don't give a damn. It is dark and it is oh. cold, and this cave is small and very cramped, and there is like at least 30 of us down here, so I'm staying close to the exit. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just kidding, by the way. Like, this is honestly a really chill moment. But it would be crazy if there was, like, some sort of jump scare. <laughs> gotcha. I hope you jumped in your seat, you, you silly goose. It is almost Halloween, so I don't know what you were really expecting when you clicked on this video. I just feel so blessed to just be in nature by myself and... Oh my god, oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm kidding. Get pranked. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After spending a good amount of time at the caves, we went back to camp. And Zara was doing temporary tattoos, and this happened. Oh man, okay. What camp stays up? What started off as a funny joke turned into Ethan taking photos of Utah half naked with the Gingo tattoo. 
which then turned into us taking pictures with the gang of tattoo, which turned into just about everybody at camp posing shirtless for a picture, which is honestly really funny. And some might say a little wholesome. Not me though, I'm not wholesome Simon, I'm, I'm just Simon, I'm, I'm a guy, yeah. <laughs> There's one thing that you can take away from this video is that friends make things I be easier. All day. Being surrounded by so many creative people and also just in a creative environment like Oregon, which is incredibly beautiful, has really made me appreciate going outside and honestly just spending time out doing things and activities and not just staying home. There wasn't really too much to do that day. I did go thrifting and I got that green sweatshirt that you're currently seeing on right now, which I think is hilarious. Shenanigator, it's pretty fun. Anyways, if you have made it this far into the video, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. I'm trying to get to 10k hopefully by the end of the year, and I can only do that if you subscribe. So yeah, you know, and also share with your friends and you know like this video if you do like it. I'm assuming you do if you're this far in. So. Alas, there was one place that I was excited for more than anything to visit the final stronghold of Blockbuster. The last of its kind in all of existence. And I was about to step foot in it for the first time since I was but a wee child. It is time to get sturdy. Oh my god. That is crazy. Oh shit. I think some words for that. Oh my god, wait, actually? Morning! Today is Wednesday and it is like 7, 10 and I am planning to do for the first time in my life a ice plunge. I'm uh, making some oatmeal to kind of warm up my body and stuff. Also because I'm hungry, and then we're gonna go. I'm excited. Unfortunately, I never really got around to doing the ice plunge. Or did I? Okay, good. Base camp on three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Base camp! I'm just gonna say it right here. There are very few things that are as beautiful as the states of Oregon. It almost feels like you're kind of walking in a Disney movie, like one of those fairy tale type deals. It's like Narnia if it were real. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was beautiful. It was incredible. And against my better judgment, I jumped in the stream with, uh, with Ben because he is a uh, very crazy, and if I'm being honest, so am I. Also, I was like, I'm probably not gonna be here for a while, so, you know, might as well enjoy myself. And it was, it was very really cold. I, I, I was very, it was very, very cold. I really wonder what I'm gonna learn from this experience because it's been nothing but transformative in the way I think about things and making art or content or videos in general. I'm excited that I have this time right now and I know it's coming to a close in uh, one more day, but I'm excited. I'm really excited for what's to come in the future and I definitely want to change how I've been doing things up until this point. I can't wait. Spikeball, one of the most competitive games that people have played over the last couple of years. Jump, dive, do the splits if you need to, but you gotta spike the ball. Get it, cause it's spike ball? Anyways, I found myself in this tournament because if I'm being honest, I was just forced into it. I've never played this game in my life, but Riley really wanted me to play, so 
of course I do. Shout out Riley. And as I got up to do my first game, I lost. Uh, pretty pretty quickly. Yeah. I don't I don't pl I don't play sports, man. I'm, you know I'm a guy in a camp with a camera. I like color grading and, and stuff. Anyways, it was time for our final group outing. And wouldn't you guess what we were gonna do? We got some food. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's hot. Oh my god. Dude, some of the water went in my eyes. What if I can't see the vision anymore? I know I was joking about it, but I really couldn't see out of my left eye and kind of thought I was going to go blind. I didn't, but I thought I was. And that was scary. Anyway, later that night, there was one thing left to do before leaving tomorrow morning. There was an OK Pop concert going on. And so, it was time to dance. It was really fun getting to know all these incredible creators, but I'm not done myself. I actually had two more days left in Oregon, so Freddie and Armaine picked me up and they're taking me road tripping to go to their favorite spots, which I'm pretty excited for. So it's time to go! Stay there. Hello. This is, well, gonna be the last day doing something kind of fun. And Freddy, as well as Armaine, has decided to take me to a waterfall, which I apparently can walk under. So, I'm excited. You guys ready to go? Alright. Chill down. <sighs> it's been a very, very good day. I've honestly been taking quite a bit of naps inside of our mains car. That's my last full day in Oregon at Crater Camp. Very, very grateful that I got to have this opportunity to do something that I've never done before. My first ever creator event type thing that I've been to. And like, I just want to say to everybody who made this trip what it was, to all the people who were there doing things with us, I just want to say thank you. Going, jumping into the river with Ben and hiking with everybody as well with like with Berto holding holding the music on his shoulders that was fun and then s honestly just singing in the parking lots and having a good old time I'm definitely not gonna forget this time with us and I'm definitely gonna not waste this opportunity this energize this energy that y'all have given me to create something different and create something else create something so, thank y'all. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at that, look at that, look at that. It's quite, quite cool, quite cool. Goodbye. All right, that was perfect. Great, guys. Awesome. Yeah, that was perfect. Good job, good job, everybody. Great, great high fives all around. Oh my God, oh shit. Not in the face.